Hello students, let's get to work. This is unit five, lesson five, cool down. Cool. In Google Classroom, you'll see 8.5.5, cool down. Okay, let's take a look here. Diego runs a 10 kilometer race and keeps track of his speed. And here's a graph of that speed. Before we start reading the questions, always read the labels on the axes of the graph. On the x-axis, the label says distance in kilometers. And on the y-axis, it says his speed in kilometers per second. Okay, now let's answer the questions. You can put your answers into the computer or you can do it on your paper and then put them into the computer. But I'm only checking what you put in the computer. It says, what was Diego's speed at the five kilometer mark in the race? Do not include units, kilometers per hour, in your answer. Okay, I'm gonna do it on paper and then we'll enter it into the computer together. So it says at the five kilometer mark in the race, that means his distance was five kilometers. That's where the five kilometer mark is after running five kilometers. So on the graph, that is where the x-axis equals five. And you can find that between the four and the six. Okay, so at five kilometers, go up to the graph and read that point. At that point, if you look over at the y-axis, his speed was 10. I'm gonna draw a line so you can see how I got that. Just draw a line there. Look over at the y-axis. When x equals five kilometers, Diego's speed is 10 kilometers per hour. I'm gonna write my answer on the paper, I think you should too, and then we'll enter it into the computer together. Try writing your answers in complete sentences so that it makes the most sense to you. At the five kilometer mark, oops, not lowercase d, ah, there, capital D, Diego's Speed was 10 kilometers per hour. There, make sure I got that right. Yeah, kilometers per hour. Okay, I got it. Now when you enter, when you enter your answer online, it only wants the number because it's going to grade it right now. That's what this green bar means. If you enter the wrong answer, you're gonna lose points, but you have to enter the correct answer in order to keep going. So go ahead and enter 10 with no units. Don't write in 10 kilometers per hour, just 10. Ta-da, correct, next problem. Let's read it. According to the graph, where was Diego when he was going the slowest during the race? Okay, look on the graph. And you can see that his slowest speed is right here. I'll circle it. That's when his speed dipped down low, below 10 kilometers per hour. And I don't know what that speed was because it does not line up with a number on the y-axis, but it does line up with a grid line on the x-axis. I can see that was at three kilometers. Maybe he was going uphill and that's why he lost speed. I don't know. But at three kilometers, his speed was the slowest. He was at the three kilometer mark when his speed was the slowest. Okay, type in your answer, just the number. Don't write three kilometers, it doesn't want units. Only the number. 
Next problem. Describe what happened to Diego's speed in the second half of the race from five kilometers to 10 kilometers. I'm gonna highlight that portion on my graph. They said the second half of the race, not the first half from zero to five kilometers. No, we're only looking now at the second half from 10 kilometers, not 10, I mean from five to 10 kilometers and I highlighted it purple. So let's explain what happens during that time. I'm just gonna type it right into the screen so that I don't have to make you suffer through my messy handwriting. I would like you to write complete sentences. Please practice your writing skills. I'll help you. I said I'll help you and I lost my lower, my capital, there we go. In capital letter, in the second half of the race, Diego's speed was increasing from five to six kilometers. Diego's speed was increasing. I said from five to six, I'm gonna say between. That'll sound a little nicer. In the second half of the race, Diego's speed was increasing between five to six kilometers. Then from six to eight kilometers, his speed was decreasing. Next, from eight, I'm looking at this here, from eight to nine, this little increase, you see his speed is increasing from eight to nine kilometers. Next, from eight to nine kilometers, his speed was increasing again. Finally, his speed was constant. 11 kilometers per hour, let's write that. His speed was constant How do I want to write? His speed was constant, 11 kilometers per hour between the 9th ninth, ninth and 10th, from 9 to 10. Let me just write during the last kilometer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally, his speed was constant, 11 kilometers per hour in the last kilometer of the race. That would be the 10th kilometer, but it's between nine and 10. I'll just say the last kilometer. You can pause the video and copy what I wrote if it helps you or write your own answer as long as you explain all the portions of his increasing speed from five to six kilometers is de decreasing speed from six to eight, increasing speed from eight to nine, and constant speed at 11 kilometers per hour for the last kilometer. And then submit your answer and finish the assignment. Good job.